Myanmar's Muslim ethnic minority, the Rohingya, is one of the world's most persecuted communities. Three years ago, on August 25th, they escaped a brutal military crackdown. There were reports of killings, rapes, and arson carried out by the military. The UN called it a textbook example of ethnic cleansing. More than 700,000 Rohingya Muslims were forced to flee Buddhist-majority Myanmar to neighboring Bangladesh, where they sought refuge in squalid and cramped camps. Nearly one million Rohingya live in five camps that cover an area equivalent to one-third of Manhattan. 34 camps have more than 40 times Bangladesh's average population density. Each of these canvas and bamboo shack camps is barely 10 square meters, and many are overcrowded with up to 12 residents. About half of the refugees are children, and women outnumber men in the camps. More than 700,000 live in the world's largest and most densely populated refugee camp, Kutupalong, an area of just 13 square kilometers. The Teknaf camp houses about 131,000 people, and more than 22,000 people are based in the Unchiparang camp. 22,000 have taken refuge in Shamlapur, and nearly 13,000 are in the smallest camp in Chakmarkul. Refugees are not allowed to work and cannot leave the camps without the government's permission. Bangladesh, late last year, restricted access to high-speed internet in the camps over national security, adding to the misery of Rohingya during the coronavirus pandemic. The camps are now hotspots of misinformation, as access to reliable information and news about the disease is limited. The first COVID-19 case was detected in the camps on May 14. A total of 79 cases have been confirmed as of August 17, with six deaths. Bangladesh and Myanmar have agreed to complete the return of the refugees, but attempts to get a repatriation process going have failed as refugees refuse to go back, fearing more violence.